Hi guys, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Now, since the last episode, um, not really much happened. I did start recording the episode the other day, and then I realised I didn't actually hit record. So, um, yeah. So what have I done? So we've made another engine part, an engine part, a uh, gearbox. Uh, our previous one is here. Um, our engines are pretty much up to scratch now, so we should have a pair of fucking amazing engines. I also... Um, got offered the chance to go for a vote so I did I took the chance to go for a vote and I went for, went for the points for all drivers now I used some of my extra votes to push this through I didn't need to actually the majority of the people pushed it through um, but I used it for him and yeah we so the next season it doesn't matter where you finish you're going to get points which is going to help us out massively um, we do have a couple of votes coming up soon so there's a refueling ban we're going to vote against that Free choice of tyre compounds, I don't give a fuck about that. Anyway, we are in the Black Sea today. Uh, if we look at our standings at the minute, we're kind of behind where we need to be. Not far behind, 17 points behind Mahindra Racing. Now, Mahindra Racing's drivers are Heidfeld, or Heidfeld, and where's our other driver? E. Jones, there we go. So E. Jones is going to cause us issues, but Heidfeld we should be able to pull ahead of. Uh, next to Neo, they've got Daniel Apt and O'Turvey, so we need to try and make sure we get ahead of these guys too. And if we can get ahead of um, Audi Sport, who are Al Ghazari and Michelle, we should be able to really sort of get on and get into fifth place. We do have the best engines on the grid, and now we're looking to get the, the gearbox up to scratch. I haven't fitted for near, uh, our newest gearboxes because they're just not really good enough at the minute. I think these are the ones that are currently fitted, the 167 and the 147. We've got a new part, I think, that's going to exceed the 187 here. Um, and then we'll carry on from there. We'll take the 900, uh, ninth place for 350 grand and upwards. Let's get into this race. So I have done quite a bit of recording today. I've qu recorded quite a few episodes of um, a Football Manager. And episode one of the new season of Motorsport Manager hasn't come out yet. This is Sunday. Episode one comes out tomorrow, on Monday the 17th. I was just really wanted to get this done. I'm, I, I, I love this game. I can't not play it. It's, it's so, so good. Plus, I, I want to find out if it's going to be a dud. <laughs> if we're going to finish seventh, if it is a dud, I'm going to try and find out about the fire mod. I don't know if you saw in the comments the other day. I was actually talking to one of the creators of this mod, who's also one of the creators of the fire mod, and. Um, yeah, we, we were talking about potential sort of future things happening, and it seems like a top guy, to be fair. I'm still tempted, still tempted to see if I can get him involved in maybe doing a Discord interview. Um, I just don't know what sort of questions I'd put to him. I'll ask him. I'll ask him if, if he fancies it. If he does, I'll ask you guys, you know, some questions. I'll put it out on Reddit as well. Um, if, of course, he's up for doing it. Um... I put it out on Reddit and say, look, if you've got any questions for the guy, chuck it in. We'll, we'll ask him. We might just do like a 10 minute sort of interview job. We'll see how it works, though. We'll see how it works. Obviously, if he if he does if he's not interested, then we can't do it. But I'd like I'd like to. It'd be, it'd be pretty interesting. I've never interviewed someone before, so that'd be that'd be quite fun. I mean, outside of a job role, I mean, I've interviewed I've interviewed people for jobs before. I used to be a manager, so I had to interview people for jobs. But yeah. It's, it's, different kettle of fish so I have put on the soft tyres on both cars I'm not too worried about getting inters um, the rain's going to ease off anytime soon anyway so getting the knowledge on the softs is a little bit more important to me um, obviously going to the race trim now the guys here Gomez wants a bit of handling stiffness apparently he likes it when it's stiffer and uh, Defoni needs a bit of uh, his his gears are his gear is a bit dodgy. He wants some some better class gear. Yeah, drug jokes. Anyway, Tafani is setting great lap times, even though we had the shitty tyres to begin with. Got level one in the race trim. Let's bring in both drivers now, as they've got flying laps out. We're about to hit level one on super soft on super soft on the soft tyres. Tafani is very happy with his aero. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this stuff with my hands when you can't see what I'm doing with my hands. It's stupid. Utterly fucking stupid. Um, now, 
Tire choice, same tower as stint, same stint. This downforce needs to go this way, I feel. We'll take it all the way this way. The handling doesn't need too much. He said he wants it stiffer, didn't he? Is that right? He said he wanted it stiffer. I'm sure he did. We'll go this way first. And speed bounce. Yeah, we'll go that way first. That's fine. Uh, deforni has got great for his handling. So that's good news. He's got good on the downforce. So we don't need to go too far out of the way there. Speed balance. Possibly going there. We'll give that one a run out. Shall we? Off you go. And off you go. So, obviously these drivers stood out on Inters. I mean, obviously we've got this real like six second gap here. It means fuck all. For one, it's practice. And two, they're still on Inters. So it means absolutely fuck all. Now, boys, talk to me. Talk to me because I need to know how you feel about these setups. Uh, Aero is nicer. Good. Gamers, mate, you got anything to say about the matter? We've got race trim level 2. Gomez, mate, staying silent. He's happy at the aero, so that's good. Can you give me anything else, boys? Let you get this flying lap out. It's starting to rain again. Really don't... Oh, fuck me, it's going to get very wet. I don't care, though. I need to... Uh, we need to work on this knowledge on the tyres. I don't think we're going to get to level 3 on the tyres. Should get level 3 on race trim. The tyres are going to be an issue. Hmm. That's going to be very wet. Fucking care to be honest. We'll get him out on wets. We're not. We we're never going to get level three. So let's get him on. We'll get you on qualifying, shall we? Because we should be able to get race trim out wets. So the downforce is good. This handling needs to go there. Speed balance should be fine. All right. Send you out as you are. Great, great, great across the board. Let's whack this around a little bit, like so. See how you feel about that. Get you on the wets as well. Off you go. So we should get level 3 on the race trim. Um, obviously, tafourney has got great across the board anyway. So it's not too bad. That is properly fucking ringing it, isn't it? Jesus. Right. I don't think we're going to get near qualifying trim or level 1 for soft tyres. Definitely going to get race trim. Definitely going to get race trim. Ah, oh, it's too late. Shit. Right, so you're happy with the gear ratios now. The Forney mate, talk to me. Your arrow's feeling really great right now. Fantastic. Hopefully that means it's going to be excellent. We do get level 3 on race trim. I don't think... We might get wet tyres. Just. I don't think it's going to really matter. I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to use wet tyres in the race itself. But it would be nice to have that knowledge there. No, just short, unfortunately. A bit like my mate Ross. Just a bit short. And, um... Hmm. Weren't too bad, I guess. Enigma Racing happy. Vern's happy. Jonathan Edwards. Just, uh. I asked um, Chris actually about why Marcel Desailly and Jonathan Edwards there, and it's basically because they didn't know anything about any commentators in in, in those countries. Well, I mean, off well for those channels, should I say? Obviously, Jonathan Edwards works for Eurosport. Eurosport. Yeah, he works for Eurosport. Anyway, we're going to go with these same tyres. Uh, we're going to take Inters. Uh, we're going to stay with the same setup. You can stay with the same. I'm saying that. We'll, we'll fuck around with you a little bit because you're only at 93%. You take Inters too. Off we go. Now, I don't know if you saw what I saw when I. Can you see what I see up there? Alright. Off you go, mate. We'll wait a second. Let's send you out to Forney. We're going to get Gomez. Actually, we're going to do this both. On that. Now, I've just got to keep an eye on both of these to do this. I should be able to get it done. I've done it a couple of times. Practiced the other day. <laughs> so. There we go. Should do the job. Perfect and good. And I've done it far too early for DeForney. That is a shame. But I've done all right with Gomez. So I was just panicked a little bit on that second one for, for DeForney. That was all it was. Let's speed this up a little bit. 
Gomez is getting the fastest sectors at the minute. It's still got the fastest sectors at the minute. But, I mean, the top four, for some stupid fucking reason, have gone out on super softs. When they knew it was going to be wet. I mean, it's got really fucking wet. So. So, the two fastest at the minute. Don't know how everyone else is going to come in. Right, so when we get these guys in, by the looks of things, we're going to send them out on uh, super softs. So Algasari is going to be coming in in a second. We're still faster than him. That's good. Right, so we've got the fastest laps in qualifying, which means 175 grand should be in our pocket. Right, let's get you sent out. You're at 95% now. That's good. And yeah, we'll take these super softs. Off you go. You're at 95. I think we can probably risk something here, can't we? Like that. We'll give it a rush. We'll give it a run, sorry. Uh, super soft, off you go as well. So we should have the time here just to get this sorted out individually. So watching the bottom left hand corner and watching this corner. Oh, perfect and good. Great and great. Now, the fawn has been pushed down by Apt, Nigeri, Michelle and D'Ambrosio. Gomez is still top. Gomez is now setting new fastest laps. Should do the same for Defawny. Defawny is actually going faster than Gomez now. I don't think anyone else... Well, Heidfeld and Kelis and Chalis have managed to get around. Verne have managed to get around. Evans has managed to get around. They're the only cars who have managed to get around for any faster. Defawny is now top. Gomez in second. We've still got 11 seconds between us and Apt. Now, I'm seeing greens, but I'm not seeing any purples here, which is good news for us. Gomez might get pushed down a little bit, but Defawny should finish first. And he does. Right. So, with things the way they are, some of the top guys are even further down. So, Bird, Tossi, Maria Lopez, uh, Daly, uh, Turvey, Algasari. They're down near the bottom um, due to some stupid fucking management, shall we say. Um, Susie Perry's here. So, Susie Perry's here. And Natalie Pinkham. So, you know, got me, got me two girls here. That's fine. It's, uh, it's a good day when those two are here, especially Susie. I mean... Uh, we'll go inters. We'll take risk taker and race trim. We'll go race trim um soft tires. We don't need nurse at this point, I don't think. That is worse off, isn't it? So we'll go back to that setup. Tire choice, inters, fuel options. Now, 34 laps. 13 to 15, so we're not going to be able to do a one-stopper. I shouldn't even think about doing one-stoppers. We'll take... Hmm, if we do two, if we do two uh, stops, uh, one of which we'll do on the inters to begin with, so we can get 13 to 15 laps on these one set of tyres, we want to do two stops. Um, if we try to get 13 laps out of these, that leaves 21 laps, and we could probably do the remainder on those. So if we take 16 laps of fuel, gives us a bit of like leeway to push uh, you take in as well you can get 12 to 14 so if we go for 12 laps at least 22 we'll take 15 laps of fuel and then you can get 11 to 13 can you get 11 laps we should be able to do it that's fine if we can do it like that that'd be great so we'll take a push push attack uh, overtake overtake to start with so, Tafourney, Gomez, Heidfeld, Verne, and Chalice. Now, the reason we're doing this, in fact, we're going to go attack straight off. I want to push and get a bit of distance to start with. No one in front of us, so we should be fine here. Let's go to Tafourney as he is the front man. So, we're going to do one lap. Gomez has already dropped down a third. We've got to try and do one lap and stay out front, which isn't going to happen because Chalice is about to overtake Tafourney. Uh, Gomez got himself back up to second. That's fine. Should we get him to go? back up. So get people to slow down. So the Fawny can really fucking push ahead. 
Because that's what the backup thing does. It slows down the drivers around, I believe, anyway. So let's get you to go neutral for now. Get a nice gap going on. That's just where we're looking. So it's not going to get tremendously wet. We've got the right tyres for the situation. Uh, Deforni needs to use a boost in a second. There we go. Oh, that's Gomez, wasn't it? Deforni can use his boost now. So he's used his backup. Let's go neutral again. So Deforni setting. Oh, fast lap for Gomez. Obviously, we've still got more laps to come out, and there will be faster tyres coming in at some point. But if we can get to that, that's a bonus point as well. I think it's three bonus points for fast slap. I can't remember. But Tavorni is setting a nice big gap between him and third place. Uh, still two and a half seconds between him and Gomez, and five seconds between Gomez and Stroll. So getting this far ahead, we're already lapping someone here. Najiri and Prost. Fine by me. Um, might as well go high, not use too much fuel up. Let's leave it for now. See how things go. Your tyre temperature is low and you see ingraining. Well, just deal with it, mate, okay? You're going to have to deal with it. Because I said so. Use your boost. Use your boost. So this gap between us and third place, Stroll, is getting slightly larger all the time. Getting that podium finish. That podium, that pole finish, first and second, has really been beneficial. Really beneficial. Um, use it, use it. See, yeah, that gap is getting massive. That's lovely to see. So people are locking up. It doesn't look to be us. So the first person to come in, I mean, tyre-wise, Gomez is doing slightly better than Deforni, but Deforni's got slightly more fuel. I think Gomez will be the first one to come in. Because he doesn't, well, he's going to have to be the first one to come in. His tyres shouldn't last as long. We said we we're going to bring him in around about lap 11 from Mabroni. Was it lap 10? I think it was lap 11, and we were going to bring in Deforni on lap 12, if I remember rightly. I can't remember what tactic I was going for now. But we'll, we'll carry on with that with that plan. Um, we can probably go conserve at this point. Carry on pushing on the fuel. And we'll use a boost again in a second, along here. There we go. So these new engines have really, really done the job. Can you imagine how far ahead we'll be once we get better gearboxes? I mean, obviously, getting better suspension would be nice as well. But having that, that pole position, having that clear run ahead of us has really let us use these engines to their full potential. It's fantastic. And obviously, because we can... We can probably just do this, to be fair. To hold on to this fuel for a bit longer. Uh, rain is going to build up again soon, but it's not wet, wet weather. It's still intermediate weather. Sandbird is locked up. The gap between us and Gomez has decreased. We're going to do that. I want I want Deforni to just concentrate on getting first. So how are we looking? Should be able to get two more laps out before we bring in either of these drivers. Um, might want to go push again, go high and high. See that gap there between us and Stroll, which just got slightly smaller. I'm sure it was about 16 seconds not long ago. Hmm. I don't want it to get too small. So we carry on pushing. It doesn't really matter at this point with the regards to the fuel. We'll do one more lap. We'll bring Gomez in and then we'll bring in the Forney. So lap 10 is a little bit early actually, isn't it? But we're going to have to bring him in. Yeah, I know your tyres are wearing down. We'll bring you in, mate. Uh, we'll get you out on another set of inters. We'll give you... What we're going to have to do is try to get you to go 12 laps on these. So if we give you 15 laps of fuel, parts are looking good, your battery's okay. Obviously, we can take the fast because it makes sense to. Let's go back to the Forney, who's sitting in first. He's going to have to come in on the pit after. It's a little bit earlier than I'd liked, but... We've still got the wet weather, so, you know, that may may be good for us. Right, so you're going to come in on this one, mate. You're going to get these. You're going to do... There's 25 laps remaining, so I want you to do 13 on these. And then 12 on the last one. So if we take 16... 
Well, we'll take 15 laps of fuel, alright? Uh, batteries are fine. We'll take a balanced. We'll be coming out against Nick Heidfeld. That's what it will take one. Right, we'll do that. That's fine. So if we get you to go neutral again, mate, and we'll get you to go neutral. Don't want to push too much on the fuel. So Gomez comes out of the pit in fifth, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. He will go into first. We know that. We're going to only have him push. We're not going to go overtake mode. We're just going to have him push. So Deforni's going to come in now. He is 15 seconds ahead of Stroll, who I'm pretty sure is probably going to come in around about the same time. No, he's going to go past us. Doesn't really matter. Got a good pit there. Uh, we're going to come out in third. Yeah, so we come out in third, just behind Gomez. Gomez is going to let us through, which is nice to see. Now, Stroll is just ahead of us, so where are we? We're still 16 seconds ahead of 4th place. And we've got this boost. We've got 44% boost on both cars. So use that boost. Use that boost. Stroll has gone into the pits. So we're going to get nice and clear of him. He's coming out of the pit already, actually saying that. So he had a very, very quick pit. That is a little bit disappointing to see. But we do stay 14 seconds ahead of him. That's not too bad. Right, let's go neutral or medium on the uh, on the fuel. Actually, no, we stay high on the fuel. Conserve the tyres. It's the tyres I'm worried about. Fuel I'm less concerned about. So 13 seconds. Let's keep an eye on that time. If that dips below 10 seconds, I will start pushing again. It's, I'm, I really desperately want first and second. We need first and second to recoup our fifth place. That's without a fucking doubt. Just Should we bulk it out? Let's, let's speed it up a little bit. So that 13 has gone to 14. So this, this has increased um, this gap. I know I'm speeding it up. I just want to get through this race now. I don't think there's much more else we can do. Tires are looking good so far. Don't need to push on the tires. This gap is getting increased. Let's go medium on the fuel. Don't want to have to like fill up massively all the time. And so we're going to try and maintain a 10 second lead at all times. At least a 10 second lead at all times. Obviously we've got the boost here we can use in a second. We'll try to use that along this back stretch here. Um, but we've got 14 and a half seconds ahead of Stroll. This weather is going to dip out soon. That's a little bit... Hmm. That puts dampeners on the plan a little bit, I guess. That's the weather going to do. Is it going to get wet again, though? I can't really tell. If it gets wet again, I'm going to stay on the inters. But if it really dries out, we can't. I don't think it's worth going in. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Alright, let's go high on these. Neutral on the tyres. We've done a couple of laps on the uh, conserve, so we should be fine. Give you a boost. Give you a boost. Yeah, so this gap is starting to come down a little bit. He's pushing. He's using his boost as well. 13.3. Um, That's the weather doing. It's going to get sunny, isn't it? Sunny. Hmm. I'm going to figure out what Stroll does. If I see Stroll go in for different tyres, we will do the same. Um, at the minute, I want to try and just keep it to the two pits. That's what we need to do, is just keep it on those two pits. If they go in, we go in. Uh, Fuel-wise, can we cut back? Let's get back up to 14 and a half seconds first before we do. It's really been a good fucking race. <laughs> Getting the qualification in first and second has won the race for us, basically. So, that's another 175 grand in the back. I say that, we could fucking crash yet. I don't know why I'm celebrating already. We're not even. We're only about halfway around the race, you know. And I'm celebrating already. I shouldn't celebrate. Let's go neutral. Or medium, sorry. Not neutral. Neutral's the tyres. Let's go medium. Try to conserve some of this fuel a bit more. So we're about 14 seconds here between us and uh, Tossie now, because Stroll's dropped back. 
Um, Bird has gone on to super softs. Pross and Nigeria are on softs. Uh, let's have a look at Tossy. Is Tossy going in? He's not. So we're not going in, basically. We're going to carry on. That gap is getting smaller again. He's setting new fastest sectors. He's going to be setting new fastest laps. Let's go back to high. Hi. 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 Uh, should we still be out on inters right now? Yes, yes, because no one else has come in yet. I'm saying that. We'll get you in because you're struggling with tyres. So 11 to 13. 11 to 13. I don't think you're going to get 11 out of these. We'll, we'll give you f f 15 laps of fuel just in case. Pit strategy will be fast for you. He's going to have to do another pit at the end of the race, without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. So back to the Forney. Um, we're going to get you to go push and overtake. And then we're going to get you in afterwards. And you should theoretically be able to see out this race on your last set of tyres. Should. So Gomez comes out in second. That's nice. Very, very nice actually. He still has a 12 second, 13 second gap. I said, Tavorni, mate, I need you to come in. I need you to take those. I'm going to give you... There's 13 laps remaining, is there? 15 laps of fuel, then. Yeah, 15 laps of fuel. Balanced. Should still be out first. And then if we go... There we go. So, Gomez has got 13 seconds between him and Tossi. He'll come into first any second now. Forney is going to pull out just about ahead of Tossi. Five seconds gap between him and Tossi. So they've managed to they've managed to close that gap a little bit, which is a little bit scary to be honest, because it makes me worry about the remainder of this race now. Hmm. I so say we're gonna we're gonna go conserve on the tires, and we need these kind of tires to last. Um, we'll stay high on the fuel. I think the Forney we might need to carry on pushing a little bit. Is that four seconds? Yeah, we need to go neutral. I don't want to lose out first and second at all. I do not want that. I mean, Tossi will probably have to pick because he's on the super softs, um, as opposed to the normal softs. He's, he's gunning for us. He's gunning for us. He really is. Alright, so, strategy. Let's go race mode. Thorny, mate. I know you got a heavier fuel this time around, but fuck me. Get it sorted out. Let's go. So. He's let you, you let him pass, mate. Why did you let him pass? Why did you let him pass? So what's the difference between you and Stroll now? Ten seconds. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Stroll is on normal soft. He's going to pit. That's without a doubt. You can get your conserve. Tossie is on super soft. He's going to have to pit. I don't know if he will, actually. He has eight laps. Yeah, he should be pitting. Let's give you a push. Now, Tossie's gap between him and Gomez has been decreased to two seconds. One and a half seconds now. Tossi has got a ridiculous car. We know that. Um, let's go to Gomez now, who's up in first. Let's go neutral on these tyres, just for a little bit. You know what? We're going we're to conserve the tyres, actually. And we're going to go high. Go back to the Forney. Because uh, I would like to see this out. I would like to see this out on the tyres we've got. So Deforni is doing much better than everyone else on his tyres. That's partly because of the conserve. Six lap remaining. Do we go for it? No, carry on pushing. Get you to overtake for now. Tossi has taken the lead from Gomez. We'll get you to attack. We'll keep an eye on the fuel levels. But it's this six laps on these. You're not going to do that, are you? Okay. Let's get you to a full-on attack. We're going to have to bring in Gomez. Actually, I don't know. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know how to play it. <laughs> I don't know how to play it, with gamers. I know what I'm doing with Deforni. What we're doing with Deforni, I think, is the right thing to do. The gap has decreased from 10 seconds to 8 seconds, but I think this is the right thing to do. Uh, obviously, the gap between us and Tossie has increased massively. He is in the pit now, though. So there is that. So we are back up into first and second. Um, let's go high and high. So the gap between us and Stroll is 14 seconds. So it's increased to 9 seconds between the Forney and... Oh, say that. It's decreased to 9 seconds. It's, it's, de it's decreasing now to 8. I meant to say increase as well, but oh well. Four laps to go. Four laps to go. Do we get Gomez to see it out on these times? I think we need to. I think we need to. Let's get the Forney to go neutral for a little bit. No, no, no! You're not, you're not attacking, mate. You're going to have to do what you can on the tyres because you're going to have to come into pit. If I get you to attack, you're going to have to come into pit. We've got seven seconds between us and Stroll. Oh, you got engine problems, have you? Oh fuck! You got quite a few problems, haven't you? You got quite a few problems too. It's because we're pushing that car. Really, really pushing that car. But I want to see this out. I want us to win. First and second would be immense for us. That would absolutely change around our season. And Tossi is setting new faster sectors. I'm not expecting anything else. You want to pit for fresh tyres? Fucking tough titties, mate. You've got two more laps to do. You're doing it on these tyres. Gomez, mate, you, you really do need to see out on these tyres. We'll keep you on conserve. Um, the Forney is catching up. I'm worried now, though, because Tossi's gap is really, really decreasing. See how quickly that has just closed. That gap between us and Tossi. It's unreal. We're not going to win this, are we? Alright, so is this the final lap? It's the final lap. Let's go push. Overtake. Overtake. Let's really fucking gun for this. So tyres are fucking shot. Tossie's got top-notch tyres at the minute. His, uh, his are pretty fucking new. We should still be able to just about do this. Come on, boys. We're going to get a first and second? We're going to get a fucking first and second. <laughs> yes, first and second for Enigma Racing. What a fucking race. That was good. That was good. That has changed our season. It really has. Heidfeld... 8th, Jones 12th, so our biggest sort of problem, uh, Mahinda Racing, they're well below us, uh, Michelle Algasari below us, um, Turvey and Apt below us, the teams that are above us, we have done well here, I don't think we've got fastest lap, I think Tossi would have got fastest lap, without a doubt he'd have got fastest lap, 118.145 there for Tossi as you can see, so, but it doesn't matter because we've got so many points there for coming first and second. So many points. Two stops. He done four. He done three. Uh, two, sorry. He went to three stops. But, I mean, that is just absolutely immense. That is a cracking situation to be in. So, as you can see, Tossi got uh, the fastest lap bonus. We've got 25 points for Gomez. 18 points for DeForney. We hit our target. Tossi came third. Stroll fourth. Camille Michel fifth. Um, that is just... Brilliant. We've gone up to 5th and 6th on the driver standings. And when it comes to this, we're up into 4th. Yes. We're not going to get anywhere near 3rd. I don't even talk about 3rd place. We're not going to get anywhere near that. Um, if we can keep up here. We're, we're 22 points clear of Mahindra Racing now. Um, and we're 10 points clear of Audi. Which is a good place to be. Um, Susie Perry's back. Always good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Susie Perry's there and we've got a 1st and 2nd. <laughs> how happy is our chairman going to be with that that is my question that is a first place finish in the race and we're expected to finish fifth so he should be extremely happy I'm going to be disappointed if he's like eh that's alright so his happiness has jumped up to 60% what is our marketability going up to 41 42 is that it is that it alright so both drivers have got a new personality trait and it is a morale plus 5 which is great but we're already at 100% morale 
Um, obviously, this doesn't really matter. For happiness, 31% increase. That is good. We lost a million pounds from that. Obviously, that's been mitigated by the fact we hit our sponsorship deal. And that is going to be the end of this episode because, well, I, I, I don't want to do the after. I don't want to do all the menu stuff after the race because it's the race that keeps you here. <laughs> um, hello, we've got mail wise. Let's have a look at the mail first before we disappear. Uh, John Favors, fuck off. Uh, except an interview. Uh, yes, 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 I am a genius. I feel great, it's all down to my driver. It feels good, we need to build on this success. There we go. That's more of a, you know, a good good sort of thing to say, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's an all-round boost, I guess, without getting any boost. And obviously, Susie Perry has said we've, we're just amazing. Um, cheers, Suze. I like Big Suze. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode, as I said. Of course, if you did enjoy today's episode, please do like and subscribe. Put it in the comments. Why did we win that? Is it because of the qualification? Was it because we've qualified in first and second? Is that why we won? Or was it thanks to the uh, the hold-up that we got Gomez to do at the start, backing up? Did that help increase the gap? Because, I mean, I don't think it did because he, he then took off like a fucking shot as well. Um, is it just because they fucked up in qualifying and all the top drivers were down like 15, 16, 17 to 18? So I think that was a big factor. Um but yeah, so of course, please do hang around for the next episode. Like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitter, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.